Are you retired and feel you don't have the same flexibility in your body to produce the correct golf swing? Are you looking for ways to increase the range of motion? Hey, this is Sean McTernan and you're watching another episode of My Golf Tutor, the number one place on the internet to play your best golf now. Welcome back. Today's question comes from Charles. And Charles writes, Hi Sean, my name is Charles and I am retired and I just don't have the same flexibility, particularly in my hips like the, I used to. Is there any way for me to improve the range of motion? Charles, thanks for your question. This is an issue that some of my students that I have dealt with in the past have struggled with. And what I have asked them to do to help increase the range of motion in their hips is to actually narrow their stance uh, when they came to me they had you know like a normal stance but unfortunately due to their biomechanical makeup it was very difficult for them to actually rotate and turn their hips so one thing that I have did with one of them was to narrow the stance now this makes it a little easier to turn and just freeze up the hips just a little bit the second thing that I want you to take a look at Charles is your foot positioning and what I mean by that is if you could imagine a clock again and 12 o'clock is here 11 is here and 1 is here I want you to feel that both toes are pointing out at 11 and 1 I see a lot of golfers especially with the right for right-handed golfers with the right foot they set up and it's towed in and it actually locks up their hip so make sure that your toes are pointed like I said towards 11 and 1 and this will also help open up your hips a little bit. Now, if you are someone who really is very, very tight, especially on the left hip, I want you to consider actually opening your foot up and facing it out towards 10 o'clock. Um, this is definitely gonna help you to really feel that your hips are getting open. So Charles, just to finish off, there's a drill I would like you to practice to help open up this left hip. And it's like we talked about earlier, I want you to feel that you open up this foot towards 10 o'clock and I want you to make some soft swings. I want you to kind of swing back halfway because it's going to feel different. I don't want you starting out swinging as hard as you can because your foot is in a different position and you may not have the same balance. So start out hitting a few shots, make some swings and then the more confident you get, continue to speed it up and make it longer. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take a little narrower stance, make sure this foot is towards one o'clock and make sure that this left foot is towards 10. And I'm simply just gonna go ahead and make a swing. Thanks, Charles. I hope this uh, video helps you. And if you or anyone else has any questions, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to go check out mygolftutor.com and get on our email list so that you can get my best tips and information. So until next time, flare those feet out to get more rotation.